So read the question. There's a question from Edwin. Good afternoon. Is it possible to make a field of a SharePoint list increase by itself automatically? Uh, for example, uh, the product underscore code field is created only when entering new products. But it's an interesting question, and I, I suppose that it depends. <laughs> what? Classic answer. Uh, the famous <laughs> answer. Do we just so, start off every SharePoint issue, every every AMA with like, well, it depends. It depends. Well, I think that wow. depends. So <laughs> if you are trying to change the field width dynamically, well, the out of the box SharePoint experience is not going to do that. But if you supplement that with something like column formatting, especially some of those custom JSON examples you can get on the Microsoft GitHub repository, then you can dynamically grow as the string grows. And that's the column width, but you may not be asking that. Maybe you're talking about padding numbers, you know, and, and adding zeros before and after to try and make a, a business type value number. Well, you could use other things like uh, a calculated column or perhaps even uh, a Power Automate. What do you think, Sharon? Yeah, I was actually thinking the same thing. So the, one of the really cool new modern features is for list width. Um, it's not automatic, but if you wanted to basically, you know, pick the the largest item, you can actually pull that width out now in the modern view and save the view and it'll actually save the width size. It's not automatic, but you can make it bigger and it will stay that way in the view. Um, but the second example is that, for example, the product code field is created only when entering new products. Makes me curious if maybe he's not thinking about the width of the actual column, but maybe instead they're asking if a product is entered, then it it shows because, mm -hmm. you know, the example says it's only created if you're entering new products. So that kind of gets me into a dynamic conversation of is this a forms question, not a list view question? And if it's a forms question, um, the only way to make that dynamic stuff happen is if you're using Power Apps. And Great. that gets into a whole nother level of complexity. Right. Yeah, no, I read a little bit to that as well. The same thing you did, Sharon. You know, create a field in thinking, I'm going to use the term classic, but I'm not necessarily talking classic SharePoint, um, of, a, of list schema. And they thought about modifying the list schema at all, which is, you know, going to be a really difficult thing to try and achieve in, in that kind of experience where you just, you know, you type the code in and the schema changes. Or is it just like you said, is it just being making the field visible? Or oh, indeed the size, there's so many options there. And like, then we can even talk about managed metadata. So I've done a couple of different projects um, using a mix of SharePoint and Power Apps with managed metadata where you can essentially um, have an option for them to add new fields or new terms to the term store. So let's say we have a managed metadata field and we only, if as we have new products, right, we show what the existing products are and we can also add new products to that using the term store. So all kinds of different ways you can go with this. And I know um, uh, Mike just the other day was uh, tell me about uh, some some fantastic thoughts that he had on the SharePoint platform. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we love sharepoint yeah as the resident expert i 